everyone, it's Crystal Lee, and in today's video we will be talking about the pros and cons to having your very own fairy tale wedding cruise. When planning a wedding, one of the main topics you and your partner will discuss is deciding on the location where you will exchange your vows to one another. I vow to make YouTube videos so all your Disney brides will be well informed of getting married through the Disney Cruise Line. I vow to keep filming you behind the camera and making silly jokes. I vow to be a loyal subscriber and I will subscribe to your channel if I haven't already. Ah, just kidding. Anyway, back to the video. Most people choose to marry in the city where they live, but if you've ever dreamed of having a Disney wedding like me, then I would say just go with it because you don't want to have any regrets down the road. When you first contact the Disney Cruise Line, you will receive an email from one of the representatives, who will then share information about the different wedding celebrations they have to offer. Each ship offers different venues, so the representative will examine each ship's voyage to align the available venues with your desired date. As mentioned in my second video, there can only be one wedding per location per sailing, so make sure that you figure out which one it is that you want and book that ahead of time. For example, I wanted to get married during Valentine's Day in the atrium on the Disney Dream, so my representative looked at the dates to make sure this was something they could do. You must book your cruise first, and then the representative can add your wedding date. Once you give them your reservation number, they will then assign you to a wedding specialist, who will work with you until your sailing date. So, let's talk about the pros first to getting married on a cruise. When getting married with the Disney Cruise Line, they have a pre-made wedding package that includes many wedding essentials that usually come in an upcharge when using a local wedding venue. Disney Fairy Tale Weddings are set up to be a one-stop shop, which in this case includes a shoreside and onboard wedding planner, the venue space, an officiant, a pianist, flowers, cake, and champagne or cider to be served during the reception. A traditional wedding would mean that everything would have to be sought out separately by individual vendors, which could cause a lot of headache and stress. For example, each wedding package comes with a set of options you can choose from, which could be a con if you like making detailed decisions, but for me it was a huge pro because it's hard for me to make decisions, especially when there's too many options to choose from. Through Disney, it was simple. Wedding bouquet? Pick one of these. Wedding cake style? Pick one of these. Wedding cake flavor? Pick one of these. It was literally that simple. Disney offers venues for both ceremony and reception that can fit the setting of almost every desire. If you're wanting something more elegant, they got it. If you want something more extravagant, they got that as well. Or if you're looking for something more laid back and tropical, Disney's private island Castaway Key is the perfect spot for that. From a budgeting perspective, the two main components are adding together the cost of the voyage and the cost of the wedding package. You can do some excellent pre-budgeting by viewing different save room options and figuring out which category will suit you best. For example, you can choose to have an inside room, ocean view, veranda, or a concierge. Having the flexibility to look at different costs is a huge plus, because then you'll know upfront there are no additional fees, unless of course you decide to add on any other enhancements for your wedding. To sum it up, Disney gives you a set price per person. The planning is pretty straightforward and there is minimal stress because they will walk you through every step of the way. Now, onto the cons of having a destination wedding. The downside to this, as I'm sure it is with any other destination wedding, is that not everyone will be able to attend. And that is something really big to consider as the unfortunate truth. Especially when it comes to getting an airline ticket, booking a hotel, finding transportation, taking time off from work, and committing to spending at least three or four nights away from home is a lot to ask. Another con is that you'll be limited to the amount of customization you can do for your wedding. For example, I couldn't bring real candles, centerpiece vases, backdrops, or hanging lights. What I could bring though were a guest book, small figurines, petals, small billboards, some fun signs, and light ceiling decor. I'm sure there are more items you could bring, just be sure to check with your specialist as they'll know best. So yes, there are pros and cons to having a destination wedding. So make sure you weigh out your options and figure out what's best for you and your future husband. Because at the end of the day, it's about you two and only you two. Well, that's it for this video. Remember, my name is Crystal and I'm here to help you get your wedding plans on cruise control. We'll see you real soon, pal. 